so this is problem number 5 on uh, equilibrium of forces you just go through the problem figure below shows a rope supporting two loads w and p if bc is horizontal and w is equal to 600 newton let me write the value as 600 newton here w is given as 600 newton determine the load p we have to determine the load p also find the tensile forces developed in different segments of the rope okay the tensile force means which the it is the force which acts away from the joint okay we have to determine tensile forces developed in the different segments of the rope means there are uh, around three segments of the rope segment ab segment bc and segment bc the cd okay we have to determine forces induced in all the segments of the rope and we should also determine the magnitude of the force p so this is the question okay so what we can do is uh, uh, we will find the angles at both the joints b and c and if we apply lamis theorem we will be able to find the unknown forces for that what we have to do is first you draw a horizontal here you draw a horizontal and vertical at joint b at joint c also i'll, I'll do the same thing i'll draw one horizontal and i'll draw one vertical okay now so here angle is 60 degree angle is 60 degree same angle will be there here both angles are equal correct here angle given is 30 degree here we will have the same angle 30 30 therefore here the remaining angle the angle between two red dotted lines is 90 therefore remaining angle is 90 minus 60 will give 30 okay so here angle between two red dotted lines at joint b is also 90 90 minus 30 will give 60 degree angles 60 degree angle so finding the angle is very important if you commit mistake in finding the angles then uh, you will not get the correct answer in the next calculation now we can find the overall angle between the segments so here what will be this total angle this angle is 90 this angle is 90 90 plus 30 120 and here this angle is 90 90 plus 60 150 here the angle is 90 similarly on this side 60 plus 90 so 60 plus 90 is yes, 150 degree on this side overall angle is 90 plus 30 120 so the remaining angle here is 90 okay now consider joint b apply the lamis theorem consider joint c apply the lamis theorem you will get all the unknown forces okay now consider joint consider consider joint b okay now i'll write a separate diagram of joint b force w is given that is 600 newton here angle is 90 here angle is 150 on the other side angle is 120 okay Here, let me take force in member BC as TBC. Tensile force induced in member BC as TBC. Force in member CD as TCD. And force in member BA as TBA. Okay. So, therefore, here TBC, T. BC here TVA okay. 
Okay. Now we apply the Lamis theorem. Applying Lamis theorem. Applying. Lamis theorem. Applying Lamis theorem. TBA. Divided by. Sin of opposite angle for member BA is 90. Is equal to. 600 for 600 newton force opposite angle is 150 sin 150 is equal to tbc divided by sin of for member bc opposite angle is 120 now consider first and second equation tba is unknown in both the equations therefore tba is equal to 600 sin 90 divided by sin 150 by this we will get force in member BA. Okay. Force in member BA is 1200 Newton. 1200 Newton. Now consider second and third equation. We can solve for TBC now. 600 sin 120 divided by sin 150 by this we will get force in member bc that is 1039.23 newton okay 1039.23 newton now we got force in member ba as 1200 newton 1200 and force in member BC as 1039.23 Newton. 1039.23 Newton. Now I will consider joint C now. I will write the separate diagram of joint C. Same, same way I will apply Lamis theorem. Consider joint C. Okay, I will write the separate diagram of the joint C. For joint C, there are three forces. force P and here TBC force is there okay TBC force is there TBC is equal to we know that value that is 1039.23 Newton 1039.23 Newton and we have one more member here uh, that member is TCD TCD angle here is 90 degree so on this side what is the angle we have 150 degree 150 degree at the top we have angle of 120 degree therefore here also we apply the Lamis theorem if you apply the Lamis theorem it will be P by sin of for, for force P 120 degrees the opposite angle sin 120 is equal to 1039.23 divided by sin 150 is equal to TCD divided by for TCD force 90 degrees the opposite angle sin 90 okay therefore considering first and second equation P is equal to 1039.23 sin 120 divided by sin 150 by this we will get the value of P that is 1800 Newton 1800 Newton considering second and the third equation you can solve for TCD that is equal to 1039.23 sin 90 value is 1 into 1 divided by sin 150 so by this we will get the value of force in member CD that is 2078.46 Newton. Now we have got the force P and force induced in different segments of the cable TBA, TBC and TCD. Okay. So this completes the problem. Thank you.